Welcome back, fellow VR gamers, to Red Rum Shooting Club. I'm Zergen, and in today's episode, we are diving in deep to the intergalactic war of Vader Immortal Episode 3. So make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and a little bell notification. That way you get notified of all my future videos that come out, and let's dive in this war. Admiral Carius, surrender control of your ship. Lucifer's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? Vader seeks the bright star. He must not succeed. Corvax? That creepy guy said you were a descendant of Lady Corvax. She stole the bright star, believing it would restore her husband to life. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. You were a means to an end. But now you have outlived your usefulness. A word of advice. Do not anger Vader. May the sleeper guide your spirit along the river of stars. Vader won't waste any time activating the Eon engine. When he does, he will destroy what little life still clings to our planet. Only you can face Vader. Our only hope is to attack his castle. Wait, 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 wait. You want us to take on his entire garrison? We need an army for that. You have an army. As Lady Kovac's descendant, you can command the Horde. Even now, they await you in the necropolis above. Uh, unless you can magic us up some wings. Can't really see how we're gonna make it all the way back to Vader's castle. Perhaps we can restore that ancient air skiff. What air skiff, bug eyes? Unfortunately, we lack the necessary tools. Step aside, crazy pants. If I can fix a hyperdrive, I'm sure I can repair this... whatever it is. Follow me. Go on! We got this. Well, I got this. This platform is designed to lift us to the necropolis. However, it is not functioning. Its source of power is energy crystals. These can only be set in place by one of Kovac's blood.
will need to find the replacement. Well done. Vader will take the Bright Star to his chambers and activate the Eon engine. But if we hurry, we may yet stop him. I know you did not choose this path, but our future depends on you. My people will do what we can, and I have summoned another to aid us in our struggle. The necropolis. We are here. The marching horde awaits us. There they are. Lady Kovac's marching horde is legion. Your light sword can command them. And there is one who still knows how. Lord Kovacs, thank you for heeding my call. Veda now possesses the Bright Star. How will you stop him from activating the Eon Engine? Perhaps we can destroy it. And destroy the Bright Star along with it. If we shatter the Bright Star, the life current will be free to flow through Mustafa. But first, we must reach Veda. We need the marching horde. With the horde at our side, my tribesmen can engage Veda's troops. In order to awaken the horde, you must make the signals of authority with your light sword. the light sword to follow my actions. Stroke upwards, left to right, then straight downwards. Good. The hod is responding. Now, a second gesture. This time, a three-pointed shape, a tribute to the three favors. In order to complete the ritual, you must follow the bishop's movements. Magnificent. Keep going. One final series of gestures. Sweep your light sword upwards to finish in the position of command. It is done. They now recognize you as their master. Only you have the power to stop Vader. Your strength will be tested, but we will help where we can. The chamber opens. Stormtrooper, use your light sword. Direct the head against them.
those droids on our side now? The Horde is under your captain's command. But if we are to stop Vader, you must now transfer that command to me. I will lead them in our assault on the garrison. Touch your light sword to my staff. Nice to have our own horde. Fun while it lasted, I guess. Wanek will take you to Vida's castle. I will follow with the horde. How about this time I'm the pilot of this rust bucket? Hmm? My servos can't take any more of your piloting, or whatever it is that you're calling. Lights on this thing? Ancient lava flows form the network of conduits. My tribesmen mapped them out centuries ago. Without my guidance, a soul could be lost down here forever. Presuming any soul in their right mind would want to come down here. Over. Oh no. Power down your vehicle and surrender your weapon. Uh, attack! Uh. Oh, yeah. We need reinforcements! Can't this piece of junk go any faster? Uh. I'll take them. You'll have to deal with the troopers. We can't outrun them.
Hey, Wanik. About your eye goggles. So, what do you have? Poor eyesight? They are for protection. And the style. Oh, right. Okay, then. Daylight. Or lava light. We're at the surface, right? Indeed. What's going on at the top of Vader's castle? We must hurry. I'd hope the hangar would be open. You'll have to find a way to override the controls to let the horde inside. Okay, Wani, you get your ride back. Just don't try any fancy flying until we're off of this thing. Good luck, my friends. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. No pressure, bug eyes. But seriously, be careful. What did I just tell them about fancy flying? Oh, if Wannick doesn't crash that thing, I'll be amazed. Can you reach that lever inside? into the hangar. See if you can activate that control panel right in front of you. Great idea! The hangar door should open to let the TIE Fighter out. See if you can get it to launch. Chance now. That'll keep the bucket heads busy. Come on, we should get going to the elevator. Come on, let's head to the elevator while they're busy. Ah! I warned Lord Vader you couldn't be trusted. Ah! 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 That's that. Let's go. You lead the way. And be ready for trouble. Oh, my God. 
Safe to move. Detonators. Don't mind if I do. Never have enough of these babies. What? So I like explosives. won't stand a chance against that. It's about to get real busy down here. going. Ship's not looking. 
looking too good there, Admiral. How's your ship feeling now? Enjoying the ride? Move. My friends, fortune favors you both. Your fortune had nothing to do with it, lady. That was all skill. Now, you and I must stop Vida. Bug eyes? Come on, you're with me. We'll get the windfall and keep the Imperials off your back. Call me superstitious, but I'm not gonna wish you any more luck, Captain. Just hope I see you on the other side. Blessings to you both. Follow me. on the actions of an individual. Remember, the bright star represents the life energies of an entire world, and life longs to be free. If the moment presents itself, do what you must to destroy the Aeon Engine. Vader has activated it. Training my life force. You must stop him before he drains the vitality of every being on this planet. I have taken you as far as I can. But you must finish this alone. Reach inside yourself. Find strength. And remember, fate chose you for reason. of this world are not enough. There are countless others. You! So, you survived the caverns. No matter, you've arrived too late. Can you feel it? Your own life force is ebbing away. Where your ancestor failed, I will succeed. Time for one final lesson. Is that all you've learned? Let's 
look upon the engine. Do you see? Your ancestor's destiny is fulfilled. Pathetic. Let us see how much of your training you recall. Blood connects you to its power. Ah! Enough. Stop. Stop now. Come back. I love you. She was almost within reach. Now she is lost to me again. Because of you. Ah! <laughs> Now, die. This is the moment. Look, the Bright Star is vulnerable. Vader thinks his willpower can achieve what Lady Corvax could not. Instead, he will tear this world apart, trying to resurrect shadows. The Eon Engine must be destroyed. Use the Force. Reach out with your mind and summon the Light Sword. If your Vader can act, plunge the Light Sword into the Bright Star. No! You have my gratitude. You have freed me from the prison of time. And in doing so, righted our wrongs. The priestess was right. The energy from the bright star now flows through Mustafar. Slowly, our world will begin to heal. Well, look who's awake. The whole family's back together again. Back on the windfall. As it should be. 
Okay, we are all set to clear the atmosphere. Finally, we can get off of this hellscape. Hey, let me take a look at that saber, would you? Something familiar about it. The design looks kind of like the totem Violet gave us. He said it dated back to Lady Corvax's time. No, no, not that way, Captain. Pull the saber straight up. Got it! By the Maker! A star chart! Wherever that is, it's way beyond the Outer Rim. Almost looks like a treasure map. What do you think? Should we check it out? Clear of Mustafa. Get ready to jump to hyperspace. Punch it, Captain. We've got a treasure to find. <laughs> 